a neighborhood cordoned off within a city on edge. Police kept people far away from the delicate operation. Officers with their guns drawn as a robot approached a man with a bag believed to be filled with explosives. He wouldn't let go. Boom, we, we heard two shots, five seconds between two shots. One small shot and one big shot with a sniper because I see him from the windows. Officers carried the wounded suspect away, bringing in a bomb disposal expert for three controlled explosions. Within an hour, the tramway was up and running again, some commuters unaware of the drama that just unfolded. The police operation may be over, but evidence of the explosions still remains. With broken glass and police everywhere, a sight becoming all too familiar to neighbors here in Scarbeck. Last night, this district of Brussels witnessed raids, part of the city's six arrests allegedly linked to this week's attacks. Today, three more. Lydia Lenzoni heard the gunshots while getting her hair cut. To me, this is war, she says. We're living in fear. And today, the clearest link yet between the Brussels bombings and the November attacks in Paris. Authorities confirmed the identity of the second airport suicide bomber, Najim Lashraoui, a suspected ISIS bomb maker whose DNA was found both where the Paris attacks were planned and carried out. For a few brief moments today, fear of organized terror vanished. In a public square, the Brussels Philharmonic played in a defiant tribute to the victims. But there are still lingering questions specifically about gaps in cross-border security and intelligence, criticism downplayed by the U.S. Secretary of State today on Belgian television. It's always easier the day after or the week after to look back and say, why did we miss that or why did we miss that? French President François Hollande acknowledges both attacks were carried out by the same network. Même si celui qui a commis les attentats de Paris et de Bruxelles... But he says it's in the process of being wiped out a sign intense scenes like this could play out again. Tonight, we're already seeing how ISIS is using what happened here in Brussels to promote itself. It's released a propaganda video saying Tuesday's attacks were revenge for airstrikes in Iraq and Syria, repeating, as long as that fight continues, attacks on the West won't stop. Wendy? Thanks so much, Thomas. Thomas Dagley in Brussels.